Hello Libra, welcome back to my channel, Crystal Moon. I am Crystal, my lovely Librans. We are going to be looking into your monthly reading. This is a general reading. This is the monthly reading of July. Um, so keep in mind that this is a general reading, so not everything's gonna resonate. That's okay. You can check out your other placements. This is gonna be for sun, moon, and rising. So if it doesn't resonate here in your sun sign, feel free to check out your moon and your rising. If this does resonate in some way, great. Take that information with you, do as you will. The rest of it that doesn't, just say bye to it and let it float away. What do we have for Libra, Spirit? What do we have for Libra? What energy surrounds Libra? What messages do they need to hear? Libra, Libra, Libra. Thank you, universe. Thank you, divine of the highest. What do we have for Libra? The lovers. Okay. Lovers wanted to show its face. Hmm. And this card is a little bit different because it's always like, it's it's like got three people. So it's kind of weird. It is a little bit weird. Like, is there a third party situation kind of going on? Um, or like a love triangle or something like that, Libra. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see what else. <sighs> the Empress. Ooh, and the Ten of Cups. So... This is what I'm getting for you right now when I'm looking at this. <sighs> Hold on, I had to sneeze. Just a side note here, every time I do <sighs> readings, my nose tickles. Okay, anyways, back to, back to business. So, the lovers, the empress, the ten of cups. What I'm getting here, Libra, is you are in a love situation. And this might not even be a third party. This is just something that is a situation for you. It's a situation for you to kind of regain your power, to regain your happiness. I think you're really reflecting on things that are going on, like with you and your person or whoever you're possibly dealing with and kind of wondering to yourself, is this going to work out? Is this something that I should, um, you know, maybe move forward with? Whether it's with this, you know, like I said, it could be a person or it could be a situation. But what I'm really feeling here is spirit is like, okay, you're, you're, you're in your power, right? You're in your power to a point here with the Empress. Like you kind of know what you want. You want to be loving. You want to be caring. You want to give all that other stuff. And you want the Ten of Cups and you want happiness. You're working towards that. Yes, yes, yes. But there is this situation that is going on. There is just this situation that's going on. Uh, it's like a love situation. It could be platonic love, could be romantic love, but it's a love situation. It could be family. And I think it's getting you to really try to figure out, like, what's going on. But we don't know. Let's find out. Ooh, Seven of Wands, Six of Wands, and Ten of Pentacles wanted to show its face. Seven of Wands is right under that lover. So it is something that you're having to kind of battle here or you're kind of having to get through. I feel like um, there is passion that is led behind it, but it's something that you're just not quite sure. Like I said, you're just not quite sure if this is something that you want to pursue. Um, I feel like there is a lot of um, resistance in some way that, you know, you're having to get through it. This could be on your part. This could be on their part. Either one. Um, but with the Empress here, okay, I really feel like there is some kind of celebration to be had. And I'm really feeling here, Six of Wands, celebration, victory. That's what I, I get with this card. Uh, it's going to be sitting in the center of your spread. So that's kind of overcoming things and coming out on top of things. Being that it's right under the Empress as well, I'm feeling like, all right, stand your ground, stand yourself, be true to who you are, be caring, be compassionate, be nurturing, you know, maybe even towards the situation because it's, it might not be something that the other person or whoever is realizing what is going on. This could literally just be um a question of what kind of relationship do we have is it going to go any further than this and i feel like spirits just say you know stay with yourself stay true to who you are 
but be kind of caring and compassionate and understanding to this other party, this other person. All right, you have the Ten of Cups, then you have the Ten of Pentacles right underneath that. So that is, you know, the abundance. Like, I really feel like for some of you, you're working towards that, right? You're working towards that Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. But as well, I feel like you being true to you and addressing the situation, because obviously the situation is involving a little bit of um, work, uh, or maybe just addressing it is, you know, maybe there is some kind of resistance, like I said, to uh, what is being said and done in this relationship and being true to who you are and saying what and how you feel is still going to bring you that abundance of happiness and um, love and all that stuff that you're working towards because you're standing your ground, you're standing true to who you are. I feel like if you sway in any way, Libra, if you sway in any way and you try to accommodate too much or you try to give in or you're trying to, you know, least path of resistance kind of deal. So instead of me being, you know, trying to confront this person or try to tell them something um, because that's how I feel, you know, as a Libra, let me just kind of just give them what they want. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. That's going to disrupt whatever happiness, abundance that's coming towards you. Don't you see? Like, so Spirit is saying, since it's right in the center, be victorious. Celebrate yourself. Celebrate yourself with the Empress and the Six of Wands. Celebrate yourself. And it's okay. Everything will fall into place how it needs to. All right. So you have the Page of Wands that wants to come out. The Page of Wands. I'm feeling like here with the Page of Wands, you might be dealing with some a fire sign potentially. That's just something that comes up. So Leo, Sagittarius, um, Aries, um, and they may be younger as well, just because it is a page. So you might. It doesn't have to be a young fire sign, but it could just be somebody younger in general that you're dealing with here in this situation of um, this lover's relationship. You know. Okay, so um, you have the Seven of Cups. That is, you know, I, I look at this right now as being <sighs> very optimistic in some ways, but kind of, you know, it can mean like delusional dreaming about things that don't really need to, but I'm really feeling more like here options and looking head, like kind of planning, imagining in your mind um, the things that can be accomplished. And I think that falls in here with, you know, you being in the Empress, celebrating yourself and knowing that, you know, you're of value and that you have options available to you that are waiting for you. You know, you don't have to go down this road with this particular person, this lover, so to speak, you know, that it, whatever it is, you do have other routes that you can take to find happiness and fulfillment. With the Six of Pentacles here, you know, I'm feeling like there is a sense where you have to be someone that I'm really feeling be someone a little more, and this might sound bad, but like, you know, be better than those other people. And I don't mean like be egotistical, but I feel like, you know, stand higher, like take the high road, be better than that. Um, and maybe even in some cases, you know, helping others and giving them something, giving them some kind of nourishment, some kind of, um, like I'm feeling really like teaching them something like try, like you're, you're out being some kind of authority type figure where you're handing out things, trying to help others. Um, I think that is where your focus is that will bring, you know, abundance and love because the ten of cups ten of cups and the six of pentacles and i do feel like there's a balance especially in this card you know with the pentacles with the archway kind of walking through that door the new beginning in some way i'm getting um but actually going out there helping doing your duty serving your purpose whatever it is that's what's going to bring happiness and abundance all that good stuff the ten of cups the ten of pentacles um family i mean both cards here have family in them um, so that's that stability, security, love. Whew, wow. Okay, so that page of wands, though, it does really kind of stick out to me. And I really feel like this person, because I feel like this is representing that person and that lover situation up there um, that you're having to possibly face battle, whatever you want to call it. I am feeling like 
this person sees something with you. Okay, this person, I'm, I'm really getting a stubborn feel too. Like because this car in this car, they're looking away. It's like they don't really want to face the truth. Whereas you are the empress and you know, you if you look in that car, you see the empress facing the lovers, like facing the situation, standing in the ground, facing what's going on. Whereas that page of wands, it's kind of like got a, got their back turned. They don't want to face it. They don't want, that's what's bringing this conflict or that's what's bringing this resistance in that seven of wands is because you're saying one thing and they're like kind of like not even not even paying attention you know like like I don't want to hear it I don't want to hear it they're not really wanting to face the truth in some matter but um don't accommodate though don't bend over backwards do not do that all right um but I do feel like they look at you in this way too like because it's almost like they're turning their back on the situation, but at the same time, I feel like in this car, they're also looking at you with passion or like, like, let's do something together, like dreamy. Like I get a dreamy vibe here, thinking about the future, what could come. Anyways, all right, let me just go on. <laughs> Ooh, all right, so Spirit, what else do we have for Libra? What else do we have for Libra? My nose. I'm sorry guys, my nose is really, I don't understand. <laughs> I really don't every time, every time. Okay, ooh, Queen of Wands, hello. Let's see what else do we have. What else, Knight of Pentacles, well, something's coming in to you. Ooh, and a Ten of Swords. <sighs> Gosh, every time I see that Ten of Swords, I, okay. So this is, I feel like, a warning to some of you Libras. Not all of you. Remember, some of this may not resonate. This is a general. Keep that in mind. All right. So Queen of Wands, Knight of Pentacles, and Ten of Swords. Let me tell you, this is what I'm getting here. You, I feel like, are the Queen of Wands. I'm really feeling like, you know, like with the Empress, you're kind of in your power. You kind of know what it is that's going on with you. You're, you're very you know, maybe direct in some ways, very passionate about whatever it is. You're really just stuck in knowing who you are and what you're worth. And here comes this Knight of Pentacles. Here comes this Knight of Pentacles offering up his little pinnacle to the Queen of Wands here. Look how beautiful that is. Here you go, my love. Okay. And I really feel like, you know, this this could be something that's not going to happen immediately. This could take some time. Pinnacles are slow. Or this could be somebody that is potentially an earth sign coming towards you. Okay. Which is Virgo, Capricorn, and Taurus. <laughs> not a brain fart. Um, but could be coming towards you to offer you this. But hey, you have this Ten of Swords right here that wants to follow right behind them. So not only are they dragging that ten, I mean that pinnacle with them. Oh my God. They are also <laughs> dragging that Ten of Swords right behind them it follows right behind them and if you're not careful if you're not careful I feel like you're gonna get hurt and I feel like this is somewhat of a warning to some of you so be very careful with this you know person or situation or offer that's coming towards you that's being offered to you because this could be something that in the long run may not be that great for you all right <clears throat> So that's that. All right, so let's see what else do we have for you, Libra? What else do we have for Libra? Any other messages, Spirit? Ooh, that one wanted to come out. Ooh, the Page of Cups, uh-oh. The Ace of Cups and the Five of Wands. Okay, so what I'm getting here with the Page of Cups, Ace of Cups and the Five of Wands. Wow, 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 wow. So, this person, I don't know if they're younger or not, okay? But they really like you. They really like you. They really want to be with you. I feel like um, this person that you're potentially dealing with is somebody that cares for you, genuinely cares for you, wants the best for you. And they really want to move towards you with this Ace of Cups here, okay? Like right now, I feel like it's good. Like it's maybe fun and games with you, okay? Okay with you and this person um like i said in the lover's card here there is three people not liking your traditional lover's card but because there's three people sitting around it's kind of more social it's not like one-on-one -on -one. it's not like soulmate type 
or like you know the singular like we're getting together a partnership that's the word i'm looking for the partnership it's kind of like oh well we're mingling we're having fun same vibes that i get here with this page of cups i mean he's got the cup he's holding it the little fishies in there it's like oh we're gonna have fun and we're gonna play so i feel like this person might be a little bit playful to you but because the ace of cups falls right behind it's like they do want to offer that cup of love they do want to offer their emotions to you do they, they do want to start something with you do they do they do want a new beginning how many times can i say do 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 <laughs> oh my gosh okay but they do want to have a new beginning with you okay emotionally they want to have a new beginning they want to take steps forward but dang you got the five of wands that's like i said following right behind and i feel like with this love offer with this love offer it's just going to be <sighs> if you accept it i really feel like it's just going to be battling okay it's just going to be battling um you know even the cards before that with the pinnacle coming into the queen of wands being offered you know the ten of swords that followed um so what i'm really getting here is just be wary whatever this situation is potentially just know that if you were to take this person up on their offer let's just say that if you were to take this person up on the offer i don't feel like any good is going to come out of it okay and maybe perhaps it would be a learning lesson for you and if because if you did take it and you went through you know whatever this conflict is that's going on maybe it'll be a learning lesson for you so maybe it's something that you need to go through but it is i'm also telling you that if you do take this offer it is potentially going to happen for some of you it will happen and you may be disappointed about it um it's going to bring you more stress than it is um then it is happiness right now. And really you're working towards your happiness because like I said, the spirit, spirit is saying, you're empress, celebrate yourself. You have options, work towards your happiness, your abundance, your 10 of pentacles, your 10 of cups, you know, give, you know, you, there's a purpose that you're supposed to be serving here because I feel like in the six of pentacles, it's like a serving kind of nature. So just keep that in mind whenever you're getting these offers and opportunities that come in the door. Just really make sure you're evaluating them. Make sure they're authentic. Make sure it's not something that you potentially are going to be hurt over and go with your intuition because you would know, you'll know you'll have that feeling like this is not right and i shouldn't do it so keep that in mind now that's all i have for you libra i hope you will enjoy this please don't forget to hit that like button subscribe please and feel free to comment down below if this resonates in any way i look forward to hearing from you guys i love you so much and um yeah and i'll, I'll talk to you guys later bye